Checking connection. We are now live. Oh, it's 411. Posh. Peace. Okay, so welcome everybody. Today we're making another very simple staple recipe in our <coughs> home right now. <laughs> I, I wrote nut milk. Spell check. Spell check set made something else, not nut milk. I'm not going to say what it said because it's really a, a bit rude. So if you're still buying carton milk during this time, you seriously need to experiment with some homemade recipes because they're really awesome and saves you so much money. And saves packaging. Saves and packaging. And it's and used it's great just, water. It's fresh. It's raw. It's still alive, not pasteurized. And it's it's just the conscious obvious thing to do let me okay. pin this uh, now you need to you need to click on okay free instagram lessons for everyone out there as well how to pin a comment oh there you go okay so Let's everyone knows what we're making and give a wave to melissa and then we're going to flip the camera so we can see miss ice day so today there she is my favorite combination i don't know why it's my favorite it's kind of a combination of the most nourishing and easygoing milks in terms of like uh, we don't really tend to make a lot of heavy nut milks like cashew milk or oat milk which is quite heavy in consistency and all the heaviness of it so uh, we tend to stick to nuts and seeds uh, sorry seeds and coconut as much as possible we use unhulled hemp because it's the freshest seed you can get around mm, and one it's also one of the accessible ones like they're not super expensive um, in, comparison to, in, in comparison to like macadamia milk for example um, super accessible perfect balance of omega threes to sixes in the ratio for the human body of course, we all know hemp is amazing for the planet, for the soil, and for the human body. Yeah, so we like using it, and it's local. I mean, this one is not necessarily from UK, but it grows everywhere, so. Great companies That's like Hempen. Check out Hempen. You want some British hemp? And Check then, out hempholistics.co.uk. What else have we got? I say, is that British coconut? Uh, that's British coconut. So wow. I use a little bit of coconut just because mm. if I use the hemp seed on its own, the milk wouldn't be like white, white. So mm -hmm. that's my kind of aesthetic preference. And would there be any chance that mixing them together helps the absorption and that they, um, they put potentialize each other? Well, tell us, Joe. Uh, I, I reckon so. People yeah. have to look that up. Of course, we're not medical doctors or dietitians. We just love nature and we have human bodies and we are earthlings, but that doesn't qualify us, does it? So a lot of people don't make nut milks because they're like, oh, I don't know how to make a nut milk. Or they see how we make nut milk and they're like, wow, is it that simple? So yes, it's that simple. One cup of unhulled hemp. Mm. And, and why are we using unhulled hemp? Because once you hull any seed or nut, it oxidizes right away and it loses a lot of its nutritional value and it also becomes acidic in terms of its oils being exposed to oxygen. Joel has a much better explanation. Uh, well, sure. um, hulled hemp seed is still great with the hull taken off. If you, if you don't have a high-speed blender, then maybe you want to use unhulled hemp seed. We're going to strain this through the amazing matfa shinwa. One cup. Get one of these for straining. It'll okay. last you 100 times longer, 500 times longer than a nut milk bag. And we're also adding a couple of dates because um, I make two kinds of milk. One milk I make unsweetened, so we just hold hemp and coconut. And sometimes I make sweetened version um, if I know that I'll use it right away. Unsweetened milk keeps in the fridge for three to five days. Sweetened milk I use in one, two days. So it's up to you. And then we'll, we'll also use the pulp, which will already be sweet from the dates to make some cookies. Mmm, cookies. Okay, let's add a bit more about that uh, hemp seed. The hulled hemp seed is great. You can use the hulled hemp seed, but the, the hemp seed with the hull still on it has got a lot more freshness and a lot more nutrition. And we really recommend you make friends with fresh hemp, hemp seed. And of course, let's remember that the ratios for human milk are not mainly fat. It's about 70% carbohydrates or natural sugars in mother's breast milk and uh or it's no it's it's only three percent i think it's three percent uh carbohydrates or sugars and only one percent fat okay I so 
I'm just gonna uh, say a few Hence words the about date. the technique. So I added one and a bit cup of water, fresh spring water, whatever best quality water you have at home, filtered water. Uh, I added just enough to cover the ingredients in the blender. That's like the crucial point because if I fill this up with water right away, uh, the milk wouldn't work because the blender would just spin a lot and wouldn't do much. Explain yeah. that in more detail. So you're concentrating, concentrating the blending the power, power into a small volume. Yeah. So I'm going to make a really smooth cream with the minimal water that I have. That's basically the majority of work that we're going to do. And after we make a really smooth cream, which might take a while, then we're going to add the rest of the water as much as we like and just whiz it lightly. No more okay. need of blending. Okay, so let's do this. Joel, do you have a song for us? Because it's going to take a while. Okay, let's go. Milky, milky coconut. Check out my milky, milky coconut. Milky, milky ham seed. Milky, milky rice. Milky, milky coconut. Milky, milky ham seed. Milky, milky coconut. Milky, milky rice. Milky, milky fruity dates. Milky, milky fruity. Milky, milky rice. Yes, we have date, hemp, and coconut milk coming at you live from Wild Food Cafe Home Kitchen with Ice Day, Ice Day's Vatuve, Ice Day's Kitchen, and on the other side of the camera coming at you live, sending you love, getting this cream on. We have a guest. A special <laughs> guest. Welcome, special guest. <laughs> I'm going to film you, special guest. No. I'm not sanitized. Okay. So, we're going to add the rest of the water now. As mm -hmm. much as you like. I'm going to add a bit more. Fresh milk coming at you from Wild Food Cafe Home Kitchen. Fresh delicious, creamy, sweet milk, <laughs> straight from the breasts of Mother Earth. Okay, so, are you going to give it a quick... Another song? <laughs> Every little body... Okay. That's it, that's <laughs> it. So, as you could see, most of our work was done with a little bit of water, then we mm -hmm. added more water. Yeah. And we just finished off. Are we going to straighten this one? We will, because I like it smooth. Do you want me to hold that? Uh, Since you're going to know where to put it? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Okay, so we have a super duper strainer that Joe is in love with, so we use it all the time. No, I like the strainer. I love you. But okay. the strainer is really good. This strainer has lasted us eight and a half years of Wild Food Cafe Professional Kitchen. And... If we had used nut milk bags, I think we would have used a thousand nut milk bags. Nut milk bags are great, especially if they're organic and they're homemade. But this is really good. Okay, so it's a really fine strainer. It's really high quality, so it can handle uh, lots of heavy, core, hard core, juicy work. And you get a really smooth result coming out the bottom. Going to show us the, pick it up and let it drip. So everyone can see the milky, milky hemp coconut date udder. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So this is quite a thick mm. milk. You could have added more water if you like it more of a like a semi skim variety. Okay. But I like to keep it concentrated as much as possible. I can you know add Oops. water depending on the use of milk. I use it every day for my chia pudding, which I eat for breakfast. So I make sure that I make enough food to last me a couple of days, and that's kind of my main area where I use it. And then for other things like hot drinks, cold drinks, smoothies, it's very versatile. And what's the most important thing about this milk or any other milk is that it trains you out of the habit of buying packaged milk, which is not good, not sustainable. This is way fresher, way more alive, way more nourishing, way more creamy, way more eco. Way more delicious, Look, way more nutritious. Luxurious, that is. Mm, mm, mm. 
And what are we going to do with the pulp, Joel? We're going to make cookies. Cookie monster. Yeah. So we're going to make cookies. We're not going to show in this video how we make cookies because we it's an experiment. We'll it's always an experiment in the world. It's always an experiment. And then if, if it works out well, we will make another video and we'll show you how to make cookies. Cool. Okay, I do have to try some milk. So. Alright, we're gonna try some milk. Everyone ready to try some milk? I right, stay so gonna give everyone your best milk mustache. I'll try. Mm. Oh wow. That's that's more like smoothie. Mm. With all the dates. Mm -hmm. but we bit. could have watered it down. Mmm. Mmm. So like seriously guys. Unhealth hemp, coconut, and date. You have your own dairy in your own kitchen. Get it on. Sending you massive appreciation, love, stay wild, stay delicious, stay magical, stay positive, stay enthusiastic, stay inspired. I stay. Stay juicy.